Grant management is the process of maintaining compliance with contractual obligations for managing your funding. This usually involves tracking grant finances, remembering key dates and deliverables, storing grant-related documents, tracking and managing outcome metrics, and submitting reports. Of all of these tasks, the financial management piece is the most critical, since mismanagement can mean being audited, accidentally committing fraud, or being forced to pay back the funds, none of which sounds particularly appealing. If you've ever done any kind of bookkeeping, you've probably encountered QuickBooks, the largest accounting software provider for small businesses, nonprofits, and startups in North America. Love it or hate it, QuickBooks is great because it's inexpensive, easy to set up, and super scalable. So it makes sense that grant recipients would use QuickBooks to track grant finances. Today, we're going to take a look at how to optimize QuickBooks for grant management. There are two popular options for modifying QuickBooks, or really any accounting software, for grant management. Modifying the chart of accounts or using classes. Option number one, modifying the chart of accounts. Let's do a quick accounting refresher. The chart of accounts is your organization's framework for managing its money. It includes the income, expense, asset, liability, and equity accounts that summarize your financial position. Think of it this way. When you enter a transaction in your accounting software, you have to choose an account to attribute that money to, such as salaries, income, loan payments, or utilities. That category is one account in your larger chart of accounts. When you produce a financial report, such as an income statement or a balance sheet, you're generating a summary of your financial position by adding up the transactions within each of your accounts over a given period of time. So what does all of that accounting stuff have to do with grant management? Some grant recipients manage their grants by adding an income account for grant income and expense accounts for each budget line item of each grant. That way they can attribute all of their grant income and expenses to the proper accounts and can generate financial reports that can then be exported to a spreadsheet and condensed to show only grant specific information. Option number two, using classes. Another way to use QuickBooks to manage grants is by using classes. Classes are unique to QuickBooks, but many other accounting software platforms have a similar feature. In QuickBooks, you can use classes by turning the feature on inside your settings menu. Classes are hierarchical, meaning you can have a parent class with subclasses underneath it. Given this format, some grant recipients will create a class for each grant and subclasses for each budget line item underneath that grant. Using classes essentially turns your financial reports into matrices or pivot tables. So instead of just seeing your accounts down the side of the report, you can also see the classes across the top that you've attributed your transactions to. So if grant management can be done in QuickBooks so easily, why would anyone consider using dedicated accounting software? Let's look at the chart of accounts method first. From an accounting perspective, Modifying your chart of accounts for a temporary source of funding is not usually a great idea. The purpose of financial reports is to see your financial position over time. But if the accounts that you use are constantly changing, you can't make period over period comparisons. So why not just keep all of the temporary grant accounts? Because over time, your chart of accounts will become bulky and unmanageable. Remember that your coworkers, board, grant funders, CPA, and other key stakeholders have to be able to read and interpret financial documents. So consistency is key. So is using classes a better option? Actually, yes, but it's still inadequate. The big benefit with classes is that it removes the grant tracking from the chart of accounts. So you do have consistent period over period data, but honestly, that's where the benefits end. One problem with using classes is that QuickBooks has a limit on how many you can have, so you can't keep a historical record of your grant spending, especially if you're a grant-heavy organization. Another problem is that financial reports that show classes are messy, like really messy. When I was a grant consultant, I had a nonprofit client with about a dozen grants, and their income statement by class was literally 100 columns wide. Because of the way accounting software generates these reports, they have to be exported to a spreadsheet and manually manipulated, which kind of costs you all the time you supposedly saved by using QuickBooks in the first place. So what's the alternative? Quality grant management requires tools designed by a team that has actually done grant management. 
Grant management software will help you manage your entire grant cycle, not just the finances. Things like tasks, documents, outcome metrics, program management, and reporting, which taken all together will enable you to understand your impact in a holistic way that looking at just financial information simply won't. So what should your organization do? If you're just starting out with grants or managing less than about $50,000, using QuickBooks as a short-term solution is probably not a terrible idea. That said, it's important to prepare your organization for bigger and better grants if that's the direction that you're heading. Nowadays, many grant applications ask questions about financial controls and grant management workflows. Being able to say that you have a dedicated platform and workflow for managing grants will not only put you ahead of the other applicants, but let's be honest, it'll keep you and your coworkers out of spreadsheet hell. 